to have happy, satisfied users. If it's fast, you've got a chance. But then you have to concentrate on the user interface design. And for me, those design issues um, uh, can be organized by the input devices and the strategies, the keyboards that have been around, will continue to be around, although there are improvements appearing for keyboarding. But I think the strongest growth will be in pointing devices. The mouse certainly has led the way with graphic user interfaces. But I think we're going to see more of uh, pen-based systems like uh, this one from Go Corporation, which has a stylus on the front. And I can simply write on the surface of this display and do my work uh, using uh, simplified interface face technology. Uh, we'll see uh, touchscreen devices as well as we installed in the Library of Congress and as I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, voice input for uh, voice door and forward will grow in its popularity as well, although I'm less sympathetic to the voice recognition uh, direction. Uh, I've already made my point about emphasizing the direct manipulation, the visual, the graphic user interface, where users can see the objects of interest, such as files, drag them to folders, drag them to the trash can, drag them to a printer, drag them to communities of users to send by electronic mail. Um, the output devices is maybe the area where we, we are continuing to see uh, you know, a lot of research and development higher resolution displays with more information and more animated displays, less text on the screen, more visual displays. And again, that's a topic for our second hour. Improvements also in online help, user manuals, tutorials, and training are key. Now, my emphasis over these years has been on 